Good morning everybody and welcome to Florida Day. So today we have started the day off extremely early. We left the villa at quarter past six and we are now here at Discovery Cove and we're going to be spending the whole day here. This is another one of my favourite days and things to do here in Florida. It just takes away the busyness of the park and we always tend to come on a weekend when the parks tend to be busier. So we can just spend the day chillaxing, relaxing and eating all the inclusive food which you get here at Discovery Cove. So I'm going to try and share with you some of what it has to offer. We just love it here. This will be our third time doing it. First time we did the dolphin swim, which we're not doing today. I feel like we've done it. We've had that amazing experience. And now we just like to come purely just to relax. So let's spend the day together. And if you're new here, hello, I'm Chantelle and I'm here for Florida for three weeks. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a massive thumbs up. And yeah, check out my other videos. Let's go to Discovery Camp. So first things first, we're off to the all-inclusive breakfast. I just have to mention that all food and drinks are included when you come to visit Discovery Cove. It is like a cashless place, pretty much, unless you want to buy things in the shops. They take your ID when you first enter, and that shows that you're over 21, so you can get alcohol also while you are here. So as you can see, you can get such a range of food. You can get from pastries, chicken and waffles with syrup, a full hot breakfast, cereals, and you also have a range of fruit as well to choose from. You can also get hot teas and coffee and your classic Coca-Cola range of fizzy drinks and iced tea. So we've finished up breakfast and now I'm going to go and sink to the bottom of the Grand Reef. I'm just taking my parents on a little tour around because they haven't actually been before. So I'm going to show them, get them familiarised so they can go off and do their own, their own thing and just relax while we're here. Liam has forgotten something really important today though, he's forgotten his snorkel. And every time we come here there's always something, whether it's lost Ray-Bans, my dog was really poorly one year, um, and this year it's the fact that Liam has specifically bought a proper snorkel for the Grand Reef and has forgotten it so he's gone back to the villa to go and get it and then he's coming back which is such a shame but he needs that snorkel he bought it specifically for today so I'm gonna go and take them on tour and I'll show you guys around too so this is one of the dolphin swim areas look at these two little friendly faces hello good morning good morning <laughs> this is just the best place ever also pick up your wetsuits. Good morning, how are you? And you can have, good thank you. So you can have full wetsuits or you can go for... Do um... you guys have a day bed? No, no we don't. No worries, keep going that way. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. You can also get waistcoats just there. All of the lockers are complimentary so you don't have to pay for them whilst you're here at Discovery Cove. This is the amazing Grand Reef where you can swim with all of the stingrays and the fishes which is one of the reasons why Liam has gone back to go and get his snorkel because look at this fella! Hi! Good morning! I'm gonna spend the day together! Wow! This is the Grand Reef. It is amazing. So this is the size of Discovery Cove and it has a capacity of about a thousand people during the day um, but when you're in here it literally doesn't feel like that at all. It just takes you away from all of the hustle and bustle of the Floridian parks. And this is where you eat guys. So these are the floaties that you can use when you go around the lazy river and this is the lagoon that links in with the lazy river which if you go through that cave just there, you can float around blissfully to the lazy river area. Look how clear the water is. Guys, I'm gonna now swap over to the GoPro and also use my phone for the rest of the footage because I don't want this camera to get wet and damaged.
so we are now chilling on the sunbeds after having a very eventful morning where I have fallen, fell flat on my face. And now I have a massive bruise coming on the bottom of my leg. There is honestly always some kind of drama that happens here. And I also just tried to vlog and took a picture. So this is this is great. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. I think I need to go probably for a nap. But yeah, so everything's included in Discovery Co, which is great. All of the food. And if you buy like a Discovery Co package, you also get SeaWorld and Aquatica included in your tickets. And then you can pay extra to do Bush Gardens and have free parking, which is what we did. And we got our tickets through attraction tickets. So go and check them out. But yeah, everything's included here, like I say, so you don't need to bring anything, not even like towels, which is blooming great to be fair. So we're just chilling on the sunbeds and just watching out for this hurricane that's meant to happen in the next few days. We're just taking each day as it comes with it because we just know that Florida weather changes all the time. So I'm glad that we've come today on a Saturday when it breaks up the parks. Um, we just check the parks times and they are just so incredibly incredibly busy today so it's worthwhile coming to Discovery Cove on a Saturday. I don't know if you guys can see him but he's just over there and there's one coming up on the log. This is the bad food station. We've got to keep the birds. Hi, Wien. You're having fun. Oh, the best. So we've just come along to the Avery where you get to feed all of the birds and I have just fed some birds which was great although I had another mare and I dropped all the food over me I feel like I'm in such a clumsy mood today but yeah it's so good the food's included as well that feeds the birds so yeah it's all part of the uh, Discovery Cove package. So we are back from Discovery Cove and as you have seen from the previous footage I had a very clumsy fall in Discovery Cove. Again, Discovery Cove doesn't come without any dramas for us. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my new bruise. Here it is. It's ginormous. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> so that was my lovely treat that I got from Discovery Cove. But bruise aside, Discovery Cove was fantastic. We love it. We are heading off to Cheesecake Factory this evening, which is by the outlet, the Vineland outlet. I've never been to a Cheesecake Factory before, apart from when I've collected a cheesecake to pick up. That's it, I've never actually physically eaten in there. So I'm excited to do that, although we were all kind of full from Discovery Coves. I think we're just gonna get light bites while we're there. And yeah, that's how we're spending our evening. I hope you're enjoying these vlogs. I will try and show you a little bit of Cheesecake Factory for you with me. And my lovely Bruce. I don't even know if you could see it there, guys. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today. Discovery Cove is definitely one of our favourite days. And we would highly recommend doing it in order to like break up the parks so you guys can just chill out a little bit while you are here visiting in Florida. And also, the parks at the weekends get so incredibly busy. And we also check the wait times today. And like I say, they were just insane. So I'm kind of glad we didn't go. Oh, Siri's obviously listening to me on my watch. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying? So yeah, the parks were very busy today. We checked the wait times on the app and we we're just kind of glad that we didn't do that today. So without further ado, let's head off to Cheesecake Factory for some light food. So 
have now been seated to our seat in the Cheesecake Factory. We recommend booking a table because we got here and it was a 70 to 90 minute wait. It is a Saturday, um, but we did book our reservation online and we got seated bang on our reservation time, so that was perfect. Our server is called Diaz and he's absolutely hilarious. He's gonna just give us the world um, tonight. He's just totally hilarious. But yeah, we have decided on some food, but we've gone straight to the cheesecake page. So I'll try and quickly give you a glimpse over it, but you can't not come to Cheesecake Factory and not get a cheesecake. Um, although I've only ever had cheesecake, food. I've never actually eaten any food. But comment down below, have you guys been to Cheesecake Factory? Let me know if you've been cheesecake. I will share the menu with you now, guys, and also show you the food when it arrives. I mean, the choice is endless and it doesn't stop there it goes under this page too so liam starters are the buffalo chicken wings so that's just the first course liam <laughs> The size of these portions are crazy. They look good, they look excellent. Oh, I'm probably going to get stuck about halfway through my name. How can you tell I'm going to walk through that? Are they good, Liam? They're very good. They're very good. They look good. They're not nice. They are very good. Good So, this is the chicken Madeira. This was one of our servers' top three favourite items along with Liam's portion which is the orange chicken which also looks delicious if I do say so myself. Are you excited? You got room for it? <laughs> so what are you a cheese picker? So mum went for an appetizer. They're supposed okay. to be side dishes. And these are all side dishes, guys. You look at the size. Mm -hmm. Fries. I don't know how to make that happen. Chocolate lace. Mango. We have finished at Cheesecake Factory and it was a great success. Great it? success. Great success. It was honestly so good. Ooh. Our server did us so well by recommending the chicken Madeira and the orange chicken. It was so good. Although Liam. It's actually, this might be blasphemy, but it's better than uh, Panda Express. <gasps> orange Ooh. chicken. I look so wet. Yeah, we are really wet. <laughs> we got burned today at Discovery Cove. But yes. Like, you are. Like, but I colour can't. <laughs> but anyway, so we decided not to get a ooh, cheesecake tonight. I know what you guys are thinking. How have I gone to Cheesecake Factory and not got a cheesecake, especially with what I just said at the beginning of this part of the vlog? Well, we didn't. Anyway, we are going to go back at some point with the family and get a cheesecake, aren't we guys? We're yes. gonna have cheesecake tomorrow. Tomorrow. So big shout out to Diaz at the Lake Buena Vista Cheesecake Factory. Yes. Awesome server. He was awesome. Made the night. He absolutely did. He was fantastic. He actually told us he used to work in Disney, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, Africa. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you are new here and you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do because- For Shambhala be for watching. <laughs> and we will see you in another vlog very very soon for day seven which is just kind of a chill day in an airport in the evening i think isn't it yes all anyway, right take care lots of love thanks for watching bye